Hi, I'm David Hankins. And I'm Paul Hankins. And this is A Week in Power Squared. Uh, right before we sat down to, to record this little video, we found out that uh, Kobe Bryant was recently uh, just killed in a helicopter crash in yeah. Calabasas, California. So we thought we at least would mention uh, that and uh, our condolences to his family. Yes. But we need to kind of move on with Power Squared. Yes. Um so we're declaring uh, January 29th Power Squared Day because we are having uh, issue number eight is released. That's right. On three platforms for the first time. It will be on Comixology, it will be on Artithmeric, and it will also for the first time be on Indie Planet. So we this is our first time to have three pl ways of being able to buy it. And it will be live at the same time on all three platforms. Yes. And then at the same time, we'll also make items from our Kickstarter available for right. purchase. And they'll be available on Artithmeric only. Yeah. And it's the t-shirts like we're wearing and uh, the hardback trade. Yeah. Right. So those will be available. And you'll have a choice with Indie Planet of buying the comic book and say digital and in print. Yes. And as we all know, Comixology is only digital and Artithmeric is only print. Yeah. So, you know, the choices are there. So we hope you will, uh, again, show your scholastic spirit and uh, celebrate Power Squared Day on the 29th. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of Power Squared, uh, we are continuing to work on uh, future issues. And uh, Rachel has just penciled the second eight uh, pages of The Imposter. And that's looking pretty good. And we are still looking for a colorist, though we have some really good candidates right now. And I'm hopeful that we'll find out of those we have, we'll find our new colorist. Yes. And hopefully we'll announce that shortly whenever that does happen yeah one other uh, milestone i want to mention is that uh i refer to it as our sister website but it's a blog that you started yes called uh, trophy unlocked it just had its 1000th review yeah you want to talk a little bit about it sure i didn't i honestly didn't think i'd get that far mm -hmm. um it was a team effort uh it took like nine years to get there right Roughly. I kind of got the idea to do it when we saw it, uh, when we were going to see Tron Legacy at the El Capitan, which was a good showing. Yes. And then to commemorate that, we decided that the 1000th review should be Tron Legacy again. Right. To kind of bring it full circle. Right. And we're continuing. Yeah. There's more reviews to come. Yeah. We have enough ideas for theme months. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's which is pretty cool. We will continue to. Uh, review movies and video games yes and we'll have some uh reviews up uh in the near future that are related to the academy awards yes uh some films that we've seen recently that are nominated yeah and this was an opportunity for us to talk about the academy awards which are two weeks away yes so i have the uh oscar nominations page up here on my phone wow okay so we're going to talk about some of the categories. Right. So I guess the first one we should talk about is Best Picture. We've only seen four of the nine movies that were nominated in this category. Yeah, even though we uh, you have a, a review blog, we have to pay to see all the movies, so we don't get them for free, so we have to pick and choose what we want to see. Yeah, and we don't have any connections for Academy screeners. Right, <laughs> which, you know, hopefully that'll change. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so of the four films we've seen... Which was is 1917, The Joker, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Jojo, Jojo, Jojo Rabbit. Rabbit. Right. So, which of those four do you think is the? I think the best contender for best picture would be 1917. Right. We really enjoyed that film, and uh, yeah, I think I think right now that seems like it's the front runner anyway. Yeah. And so, yeah, I would hopefully that it's going to be 19. That'd be my prediction would be 1917. Yeah. Want to talk about Best Director? Sure. All right. So there are five nominations for Best Director. Yes. Again, we've seen... Uh, three of them. Three of them. Uh, Joker, 1917, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Right. The, the Irishman and Parasite are also nominated. And we have yet to see Parasite, and we know we should. So. Yeah. So of those, I would say Sam Mendes for 1917. Yeah. He also recently won the Directors Guild Award, which is... As they, I know they like to say the Golden Globes is a precursor, but the DGA is usually pretty accurate as far as who wins the Academy Award. Yeah. So I would think at this point, would, and that would be my choice anyway, it would be Sam Mendes. Yeah. Although personally, I'd also be fine with uh, Todd Phillips for Joker. 
Okay. Because uh, I know it's not the best movie necessarily, Mm -hmm. but it did a lot right. Right. Okay, so then the next category that we feel comfortable talking about (laughs) is best actor. Right. We have seen, uh, well, two of the movies. Joker and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, Personally, I think that award should go to Joaquin Phoenix for his role in Joker. And I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to go. Yeah, because he's already won a couple yeah all the roads seem to be leading to him winning for best actor and of the two films we saw <laughs> uh he's definitely i mean it was, it's a very strong performance uh for the film yeah his performance like it was intense but it also helped make joker uh the movie that it was right it would not be the same if it was anyone else doing it no i can't see it yeah so related to that is the best supporting actor award right and we've seen one of the films. Yeah. <laughs> which is Brad Pitt in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And he also won the Golden Globe for that. I'm, I'm not sure how the SAG Awards went. I think it was a very strong performance. And I'd be, that would, again, out of the one out of five, <laughs> <laughs> that would be my choice is Brad Pitt. Yeah. I would like to talk about Best Animated Feature. How we've only seen one of the movies, uh, Toy Story 4. Right. And uh, Toy Story 4 wasn't unnecessary was an unnecessary sequel but i'd personally be okay with it getting it right. because it turned out to be like actually really good i'm not sure what they could do beyond that but it's a pretty good swan song after toy story 3 if it is the swan song yeah it should be <laughs> okay so one category we've actually seen most of is best original song right in that case we've seen uh toy story 4 rocket man and frozen 2 right and respectively the nominated songs are uh, I can't let you throw yourself away. I'm gonna love me again, and into the unknown. Right. So of those three, I would think the sentimental favorite is the Elton John song. Yeah. From Rocket Man, but I could also see, you know, they like to give it to Frozen, so I could see Frozen Two getting it for that song as well. Yeah. Um, with into the unknown, I thought it was a good song, but largely because of the performance by Idina Menzel, mm-hmm. as she's just an amazing singer. Right. Has been since wicked maybe I, even before I'm that. Sure, i think she was in rent before that right i just know her from wicked yeah. we could continue to talk about categories um but our expertise is sort of limited to a certain number of films and we're not really you know editors or cinematographers we thought maybe that uh 1917 got snubbed as far as editing goes yeah because that was really good editing <laughs> right because yeah you think it's yeah, it's really well done yeah. and the cinematography was for 1917 we hope he wins as well yeah because it was really good yeah i guess we have a favorite film uh, <laughs> of the year 1917 um again we haven't seen parasite maybe that'll change everything up but... who knows and if we do see it we'll talk about it yeah All right <laughs> Uh, so before we finish off, I want to I want to announce that on February 10th, uh, Trophy Unlocked is going to start Sonic Week. So a week of reviews related to Sonic the Hedgehog in anticipation of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, right? Which we plan to watch. Right. Before we close, before we do your final summation, uh, remind everybody January 29th, Power Square Day. If you're looking for how to how to find uh, any of our issues, you can go to powersquaredcomicbook.com slash shop, and all the links are there. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, ring that notification bell if you want to see exactly when these videos go up, uh, commenting and sharing also helps our channel grow. Until next week, I'm David Hankins. And I'm Paul Hankins. And this has been a week in Power Squared. Power Squared.